Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about how to create a OneDrive account. So let's get into this video. So before I share my screen, I want to explain to you guys, there's probably two ways that you'll have a Microsoft email. One is from your business. So let's say you just started in a new company or they just started using Microsoft and they gave you a business account or a business email address through the company. Or you can set up an email, a personal email um, through Microsoft just on your own. So today what I'm going to show you is how to create that account if you're doing it personally on your own. And then um, we're going to get started that way just in case you don't have a Microsoft account at all. So let's... Now, okay. now Kaylee, like if, if it's business, it's like added, like you're, you don't have to do it. Right. And it's really, it's tied to your license. Right. So if you're admin, uh, an example of licenses that would support uh, OneDrive for Business would be like Microsoft 365 Business Premium. Mm -hmm. Um, also business, uh, Microsoft 365 business basic, right. uh, or standard that is would, would, uh, would give you that. So a lot of those come default with it. Uh, but if you have your personal and you're also connecting your business, sometimes that can kind of cross the streams if you like a ghostbuster reference. <laughs> so, you know, just be on guard about that. Yes, no, that's a great point. So let's look at our screens here and I'm going to show you guys how to create an account. This is the main create your account Microsoft screen. And I have the link to this exact website down in the description if you guys wanna follow along. Again, this is creating in a, a personal account. So if you have a business, you've already created that or your business has already created it for you and given it to you. So what you're going to do is you're gonna create that first email title. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to call this Axiom YouTube. And then you can change this to either at Outlook.com or at Hotmail.com. Um, I'm going to keep it Outlook. Then once you're done creating that, you can click the next button. But what I will say, if if you do have an email already, like a, if you already have an Outlook or a Hotmail that you created a long time ago, make sure to click this use your email instead and see if you can log into that instead of creating a whole nother account if you don't have to. So let's click the next button. Okay. Now it's gonna have you create a password and I'm obviously gonna blur this out because I don't want everybody knowing my password, but make sure that you have a secure password, something that's maybe like a password phrase, um, something with numbers and characters and stuff in it. Once you've created that password, you can click next and it's gonna ask for your name. And then you can click next, fill out this information. I'm gonna lie about this. Is that fine for me to lie about this? <laughs> I would probably recommend lying about it. They don't need to know your birthday. <laughs> nice. I'm going to say I was born in the 70s. And then click next. You look pretty good for your age. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay. Guys, All right. They're going to get us. thinking about it. It doesn't know if I am. Um, you can actually choose to stay signed in to this browser or not. I'm going to say no for my sake, but you can click yes if you'd like. And now we are here, we have arrived. So if you have created a, or you have a business account through your work, you can follow along now to this point. Um, I'm just going to X out of this, let's get you started because I'm gonna get you guys started. What I wanna show you guys now, now that we're inside of OneDrive, is the difference between my files and shared. My files are just the files and folders that you created yourself. The shared section is files or folders that either you have shared with someone else or they have shared with you. So when you click on the shared um, tab, you can see the option to choose with you or by you. So with you are things that people have sent to you. So files or folders or anything like that that was shared to you. And then by you is anything that you have shared with others. Okay? Yeah, this is really helpful because Think about the My Files section. Everything that you go to create, everything that you go to do when you're working in there, those will, as you share, automatically show up in the By You section. So you don't have to go to this to be able to do it. You, you just right. organically are continuing to work in things that you have in My Files. 
But then like when someone sends you an email and says, and in the email, it's like, Hey, uh, Kaylee sent you, um, a file that you mm -hmm. might find important that you want to look at. Right. Well, if you forget where that email's at and you're like, Oh crap, where was that file that, uh, that email that had that file that I really want to edit now. And it's, you know, a week or two later, if you just go with you, you can then go ahead and find that file. We had a question about that. Um, somebody was asking me, they were trying to, their company was using OneDrive, I believe, to, to um, store files, but then also using Google Sheets and storing things inside of Google Drive. And that is where things get really tricky. <laughs> I would definitely recommend going into just one space and staying there, right? Because then you can do exactly what Bobby's saying, which is you have your email and your OneDrive and your SharePoint if you're connected with other spaces and your Teams if you're connected to other spaces. All of those are connected, right? So you can find your files here without going to 20 different places to try to search for them. So I totally recommend doing that. And this will make your life a lot easier and help your business or your organization stay more efficient. Okay. So the last thing I want to show you guys today in this video is how to upload and download files. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to add new, okay, the big blue button at the top left. So you can't miss it. Fun, funny story. That's new. <laughs> yes. Like that used to be There's on, always, that anyways. used to be on the bar across the top. And I, full disclosure, it like took me. <laughs> like five minutes. I'm like, what the heck? I couldn't find it for the longest time. And then it's like, here's this big freaking blue <laughs> button on the left. It it's really like, we'll me. help you here. Make yeah. it a little bit easier for you. Yeah, I appreciate that about them. But they'll, but they'll move stuff around on you. They, they will, yes. So if this is different when you guys are doing it, please do not come for my throat. I say this all the time in every video, but if they change this next month, you know, just <laughs> bear with me. But we, this is what? This is May of 2024 that we're recording this now. So it might be different in June. <laughs> so you never know. But what you're going to do here, what I like to do is files upload. Okay, this is where you're pulling a file from your machine to, to upload it into here. I do want to note before I go into this that you see these little options down here. This is really interesting that they have added where you can actually create a like Excel spreadsheet or Word document or even OneNote um, inside of OneDrive itself. So what it basically does is just creates that document directly into my files um, and pairs it with their with that section just automatically. So, you know, instead of you having to create it somewhere and then uploading it onto here, it's just automatically there. We are going to make a video on how you can sync your PC um, and your files directly into your OneDrive so that you actually don't even have to worry about that. Um, but that is something to note. I'm going to click files upload. And it's going to pull up my files. I'm going to upload this uh, photo that we've made for our podcast recently and click open. All right. And notice now it is underneath the documents and pictures folder that it automatically created for me when I created my account. And now you can see it here. So when I click on it, you can see the nice picture that I've created for our podcast, right? Now, if you wanted to download this. So an example on why you would need this is maybe you don't have your OneDrive and your PC file synced and you delete this picture, but you need it later on onto your PC, right? So what you can do is once you have clicked on this document or image or file that you have, you can click on this download button here. And once you have clicked on it, it will download to your computer and you should be good to go. This was a very simple, straightforward video on how to create and upload and download files from OneDrive. Um, our next video is going to talk about how you can then share and create folders 
inside of OneDrive. So stay tuned for next week when we talk more about OneDrive. We hope that you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.